This commentary or uh, observation is about uh, safety in driving vehicle or safety in general. Uh, mainly you want to start off with uh, texting and driving. That's uh, obviously not a good thing because you've got to take your eyes off the road to punch them buttons. There might be a few people that's good enough they don't have to, but overall, most of the time you do. And uh, I don't know if it's actually that dangerous to talk on a phone as long as you don't get too wrapped up in your conversation to where you can't uh, keep your mind on your driving and keep your eyes on the road. But some people do get pretty in enthused. I've seen them driving down the road with a cell phone up their ear and the uh, other hand flopping all over the inside of the car as if they're giving hand signals to someone they're standing there talking to. But anyway, my opinion on this uh, texting in particular is if, if you get caught texting, it should be the same, same uh, find the same punishment as uh, driving while intoxicated because you're completely unaware of where you're, what you're doing, what your car is doing. And it just takes a split second to move over that line a little bit and wind up in the other person's lane in a head-on collision. And no telling what could happen, kill someone, or self, whatever. And I don't care if it's uh, my uh, son, daughter, grandkids, whatever, if they get caught doing it, they should lose their license for a period of time as you would if you uh, drove with uh, under the influence and in, I mean in my case I won't be doing that because I don't know how to text, I don't want to I don't even have my cell phone with me the biggest part of the time once in a while if I think of it I'll put it in the car so if I have trouble but uh, just the whole thing is why would anybody want to do that whenever they can either pull over if it's that important or just uh, wait till they get home uh, I, frankly I don't see why cell phones are so popular or I, I see why they're a great big toy is what it is. You can do whatever you want to on it. You don't have to, you don't have to be in front of your computer and all that stuff. But the thing about it is people got by without cell phones many, many years. And I still get along without it. I don't need it. Except I, the reason I got one because I used to own a dune buggy and I thought, well, if I break down this little crutch, why? I can call and have somebody come get me. But that, anyway, that's the gist, of the gist of that. I think it really is a very serious thing to do. The other thing I want to bring up, mention is seatbelts. Now I used to be totally, totally against that because I don't think the government has got a right to tell you what you should do on your own benefit. Now if it's hurting somebody else, yeah. Yeah, if you're going to do something that's going to cause someone else a problem, there's going to be people that's going to say, well, yeah, with seatbelts, you know, you're going to cause us to spend more money fixing their broken head and we'll have you in the insurance if they don't have insurance or whatever. That's not a big deal to me. I mean, you're, they're gonna, you're not going to get your tax money back anyhow. They're going to blow it somewhere. But the, the point being is I don't like the government telling me what to do. But I've been watching a lot of these state patrol reports, and the major part of the people that got killed was because they were thrown out of a vehicle and didn't have a seatbelt on. Uh, so I do wear my seatbelt all the time anymore. Uh, you know, I'm getting older and everything, and I probably can't take too many bruises and beatings and banging going on like that. So the, the thing I say is, I mean, for my own benefit, anybody, of course, can do what they want to. It's, it's, their, it's up to them. You know, they choose to wear it or not. It don't matter to me, really. I, but in my case, I want to because I, yeah, that's what I like my kids to, my you know, wife and all that. Because I feel it's safer. I know there's been people that's uh, been trapped in a car and the car burned up. They couldn't get out and all that stuff. They don't happen too often. And the good chance is they couldn't have got out anyway, you know, for whatever reason. But the thing of it is, I don't like the government telling me what to do. I'm going to say that again. Um, but you've got to have some government rule, of course. You know, you can't have people go out there killing each other and no, no penalty for it. There has to be penalty for certain things. But now the government should allow everybody to make their own decision with their own, in their own welfare like that. But, of course, uh, you know, you're going to have all these people that's going to say, well, you know, you you got to have the government control every move you make. Well, I don't believe that. I don't believe that crap one bit. Well, anyway, I think that's about enough of this uh, little commentary going on here. So, just take it for what it's worth. It's my, basically my opinion. And uh, like I say, I don't like this business of texting and, and people driving because I might be the one they're going to run into. And this business of seat belts, if you don't want to wear them, that's great. That's your, that's your privilege. But myself, I do, and that's the reason why I do, because the chances of being thrown out, that's the biggest problem. Alrighty. Well, thank you for paying attention to this old geezer. We'll see you later. Bye now.